Hello ladies and gents, it is Cookie here bringing you another squad builder and this time it is a squad builder made up of six upgraded players. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the rest of the team real quickly and I'll talk a little bit about each upgraded player and then in the clips at the end you'll have seen most of the other players thousands of times before so I'll just do a little bit about the upgraded players again. Starting off in goal then we have the best keeper on the goal for, game for me and it is Manuel Neuer the German tank. Proper safe hands on this guy. In centre back then we have our first upgraded player you already know who it is. It is his teammate. It is Jerome Boateng. I paid 17,000 coins for him. I did get him like soon after he came out and he is an absolute beast. However I didn't notice any difference between this card and the 81 card. Going into centre back then and we have his teammate which is Dante. These two work absolutely perfectly at centre-back together because Dante's got the height and the defensive stats and Boateng's just got that pace. And the next centre-back then, we have another great player on this game and it is Sergio Ramos. Also a very decent centre-back. These three at the back were a perfect trio to be honest. Moving into CDM then, um, we have Xabi Alonso. Very good player on this game actually. I didn't expect it to be but because pace doesn't matter so much this time, he is decent. The other CDM though is the complete opposite to Xavi Alonso because he's got loads of pace and it is Ramirez. Very, very good player in this game. For very strong. He's a real great player to have. He just gets up and down the pitch so well. Moving on to right mid then and we have another upgraded player and it is Raheem Sterling. I used his first card and I didn't really like it. However, I did really enjoy this one. Played four games, only paid 3.5k but he only got the one assist. He just didn't seem to have an end product which is really disappointing, but his dribbling and his pace was absolutely insane. We'll go on to left mid then, and we have, you've probably already guessed it, it is Jesse Rodriguez. This guy is ridiculously priced for a 76 overall, but he is very good also. Paid 48k for him, which is stupid, and he got two goals and two assists. He is a real perfect left mid, and I can imagine he'll only be better if you play him at left wing or left forward. However, I do prefer his silver striker card very much. Now, in cam, we have Oscar, 84 Oscar. Look at that stupid price I paid for him. That was an accident. I just quick sold without even thinking about it. Quick sold, sorry. Buy it now without even thinking about it because I'm an absolute idiot. And he didn't even score for me, which is quite annoying because his first card used to score quite a lot for me when I used him. However, I still enjoyed him because his dribbling and passing was very, very good. First striker then, we have the Spaniard from Man City, the Boost. That is Negredo. Paid 10k, played 4 games, got 4 goals. He does the business really. Only used his normal card for the first time the other day. Used this one the day after and he is much, much better. However, the normal card is also very good and he'll be like under a thousand coins now. So he might be worth buying if you haven't got many coins at all guys. However, if you can afford the 84 version, I would definitely go out and get him because he is decent. Next up then, we have the 88 rated Luis Suarez. Who I stupidly quick sold. So it says he has no games played, but I did play four games with him like I did with the rest of them. He only got two goals for me, but he did get four assists. However, I found him really quite disappointing, but he did score an absolutely insane goal. We will kick things off with a few Boa 10 clips then, just showing his pace, strength and defensive ability. Honestly, guys, if you need a defender in the Bundesliga or you need a German defender, you just have to use Boa 10 if you haven't already used his 81 card. He is absolutely superb. He's the best you can get for your money, really. He is just as good as Thiago Silva, in my opinion. And I know people will be quite shocked at that because Thiago Silva gets high ratings on this game. Then we have Jesse Rodriguez doing some nice work. This is the only clip I could get with Sterling, and it pinpoints what I said about him earlier. He has absolutely no end product. Look at that awful finish. Gets himself in a nice position, but just cannot finish it. Now we have a few Oscar shots. He actually, his long shot seemed okay, he just got really unlucky from time to time. I think if I used him again, I would definitely enjoy him. Look at this for example, he strikes it so well, but he just hits the bar. He was really unlucky when I played with him, it must not have been his day or something. Now we have Jesse Rodriguez showing some good pace and a bit of strength there to push Pep PK off the ball. And he's unlucky not to finish it. Same again here, but he gets inside and this time he does finish. Absolutely clinical. He is a great alternative to Ronaldo if you do not have the coins for Ronaldo and I'd say he's probably better than David Villa as well so if you need a left winger in Spain go out and try him guys honestly his pace his quality his dribbling skills are amazing also 
now we have having Negredo and this guy was all about strength and finishing there you see his absolute finishing ability and this one he shows you his strength look at him just absolutely bullies the defender Hummels is not a weak man either and he slots it under the goalkeeper of his right foot nice finish there from the Man City Spaniard and again I really like this one because the touch just seems so rapid and then he smashes it in on the half volley good finish again from the beast Suarez here doing a nice bit of work down the right hand side cuts inside rainbow flick and I was hoping so much that that went in but unfortunately it didn't here he is again then coming down and he passes it in to Negredo a nice little assist there from the Uruguayan he honestly played so much more like centre forward than a striker it was, it was good but it was also quite annoying because I did want to score the goals in shows some good strength and crosses it into Negredo who is unlucky not to finish that one yeah I, if you do get Suarez I would recommend trying him in a centre forward position in a 4-4-1-1 I imagine he would be absolutely quality now look at this dribbling passes it through to Xavi Alonso he was all about the assist like I said he got four but he did only get two goals Xavi Alonso with a rare goal though there Suarez here, here he is this is the first of his goals not too great but he slots it onto the goalkeeper nicely in the end and then look at this one this one is absolutely insane this is what it's all about smashes it from 35 yards lobs the keeper hits the post and goes in what a great goal from the Liverpool player there thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy it, please leave a comment. Any feedback is welcome. Like the video if you enjoyed it as well. Please share it if you really want to. And follow us on Twitter at MrBeastyBaker. Thanks.